But uh, I, I got to ask you about uh, the Jerry Seinfeld TV show, uh, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. Uh, you, want, you want to hear a funny story? Yes. Um, you know, I've known Jerry for like 40 years, and I've known all those guys. You know, they, they might, there's a documentary coming out on me in a couple months called Joke Man. And the guy making it says that I'm the Forrest Gump of comedy because I've stood next to everybody as they zoom past me and got famous. And I knew all these guys. And a million years ago, I hosted a show in 1979 at a disco in Fort Lee, New Jersey. And the guy gave me the list to introduce the acts. And what really sucks is my name isn't on the list. But I was the MC, you know, the host, the master of ceremonies. And he gave me this little scrap of paper with the names of the people that were going to go on that night. And on the web, like 20 years ago, I put I put stories on the web on my website. And this piece of paper was on there because it accompanied stories about the old days and the old shows we did. And somebody must have come across this piece of paper because it was just a JPEG floating around the Internet. So they located me and said, can we use that piece of paper, you know, the image of it? And I said, make me an offer. And they said, OK. And they, they wanted to use it for comedians in cars getting coffee. And the reason they wanted to use it was because Eddie Murphy was on with Jerry Seinfeld. And they were both on this list. So I said, OK, make me an offer. So the producer writes back to me. $600. This is so funny, Adam, because I'm such an asshole. I wrote back to the producer. I said, OK, let's review. A billionaire comedian wants to interview another billionaire comedian on a billion dollar network, and they want full rights in perpetuity in any media that may ever be invented for all time for a priceless piece of comedy memorabilia, and you would like the worldwide rights in perpetuity for $600. I said, <laughs> what would you say? And the guy wrote back. I guess I would have said what you just said. He said, I'll get back to you. So he gets back to me. He says, the most we can pay is $1,000. And I was going to email back and say, you know what? Why don't you tell Jerry that I, I just saved him $1,000 by saying, fuck you. But I didn't. I said, OK. So the most one of the most recent, I mean, it might have been the first new one this year was Comedian in Cars Getting Coffee, Jerry Seinfeld with Eddie Murphy. And at, I haven't watched it, but at some point, they're talking about the old days, and they flash to this piece of paper. And what's so priceless about it is it has yeah. Eddie Murphy, Jerry Seinfeld, and Gilbert Gottfried are all on the list, and all three of them are spelled wrong, which is probably why I kept it, because it's so funny. But I said, you know, listen, if you're only giving me a thousand, the least you can do is give me a credit. So at the end of the show, I have a credit on Comedian in Cars. You wouldn't believe the Twitter people going nuts trying to figure out why the fuck is, did Jackie get a credit on that show? Because my name is not on that list. I just owned it because I was the MC, but it just said MC. And they're saying, well, he probably there was probably a picture of him in the background or, or he had a picture of Murphy with a dog or, you, you know, whatever. That people going nuts and they still don't know. I think I'm going to finally put it on Twitter and say, look, you morons, that was my piece of paper. You know, you know, I, I you know, what? I'll uh, I'll email you the, the JPEG of it because it's funny. You know, it's got Seinfeld, S-I-N-E and Eddie, E-D-D-Y. It's funny. I didn't mean to be so long winded, but uh, what now you you asking me because you like the show, you don't like the show. No, it's just that um, I've been uh, binge watching it recently, and it, it's amazing to me how unfunny some comedians are on that show. Adam, Adam, most comedians aren't funny. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's just like if you're Mickey Mantle, you don't walk around during the day swinging a bat. You know what I mean? It's, it's a craft. It's an art. Very few really funny people wind up being comics. It's, it sounds weird. It sounds really weird, but you know, it's, it's a learned thing and it's a lot of hard work and it's crazy. Like most of these guys hanging out with them. I've always been the life of the party. I'm just not a good comedian. You know, I'm a joke teller. I'm a, I'm a guy who's great at a party and great at a bar 
and it translates somewhat on stage, but it never was going to get me anywhere, you know. But, uh, you know, some guys are funnier than others. But the, the very common thing is, oh, you know, Harry? Yeah, well, he's got a great act. You know, Charlie? Yeah, he's funny off stage. You know, it's like, it's two different things. It's like, yeah, he's a lot of fun, but I wouldn't want him to date my sister. One of those things, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, If you have friends, the, 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 your best friends are the last people you would want dating your sister. You know what I'm saying? Especially because I'm friends with a lot of black people. <laughs> but, you know, you're an asshole. But it is <laughs> funny that they go on the show with them. I mean, if you're not that funny, why would you go on and let the world know? You know? Of course, I'm sure some of them think they're just funny by the nature of talking. You know, I, I do so many radio shows, you know, promoting my shows. And I'm great on the radio because I go on the radio and I tell jokes, tell jokes, tell jokes, fool around, tell stories. Most comedians aren't naturally funny. And they go on these radio shows and the, and the guy will say, well, what do you want to talk about? And they say, well, you just talk and I'll be funny. And th these radio DJs, they say, Jackie, we love it when you come on because you take the ball and run with it. And you're funny. These other guys just sit there like bumps on a log and they think everything they have to say is interesting. And it fucking well ain't. You know, I know it sounds like I'm bragging, but if you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing, you know. The world knows I never got that big, so I'm not pretending I'm ever going to get that big, but I do know I'm funny, I'll tell you that. 